Hi, I'm Dr. Hale. Today I'm going to talk about a condition called a Taylor's bunion or bunionette. It usually presents as pain on the outside of your forefoot. A bunion is on the inside of the foot behind the big toe, and a bunionette is on the outside of the foot behind the fifth toe. The bone behind the fifth toe is the fifth metatarsal, and when the head of the fifth metatarsal moves outward, it causes a prominence. We call this prominence a Taylor's bunion or bunionette. Patients ask why we call it a Taylor's bunion. The deformity received its name many years ago when tailors used to sit cross-legged and the outside edge of their foot rubbed on the ground. This constant rubbing led to pain on the outside of their forefoot. The condition is due to an individual's foot structure allowing forces to push the fifth metatarsal head outwards while the little toe moves inwards. This shift creates a bump on the outside of the foot that becomes irritated whenever a shoe puts pressure on it. Patients commonly ask, is this caused by a bone spur? In the majority of the cases, it's simply caused by displacement of the fifth metatarsal head. In some cases, people do form a bony outgrowth, which we call a bone spur. The symptoms of a Taylor's bunion are usually aggravated by wearing shoes that are too narrow, increasing pressure on the prominence and producing friction. Symptoms occur when wearing narrow shoes that rub against the bump, irritating the soft tissue and producing inflammation. The most common symptoms include redness, swelling, and pain. If left untreated, sometimes a sore can develop at the site of the enlargement. The condition is easily diagnosed on clinical examination due to the prominence behind the fifth toe. X-rays are utilized to confirm the condition and evaluate the extent of the deformity. Treatment for Taylor's bunion should begin with non-surgical treatment. We always suggest exhausting all conservative options prior to considering surgery. The most important thing is to reduce pressure on the metatarsal head. We can achieve this with appropriate shoes and insoles. Since the condition is caused by the shoe rubbing on the bony area, you need to use a shoe with a wider toe box. This can easily be accomplished with a tie-type shoe. When you go to the shoe store, ask for a brand of shoes that comes in different widths. You can also have your shoes stretched or modified by a shoe repair shop. If you can't find shoes that are wide enough, you may need to pad the area to reduce pressure on the bone. You can get instructions on how to do that by going to our website and searching for self-help Taylor's bunions. To reduce the pressure causing the condition, we suggest an over-the-counter or custom orthotic that closely matches your arch to reduce pressure off the fifth metatarsal head. We also suggest modifying your over-the-counter or custom insole to further reduce pressure off the area. If you have questions on over-the-counter insoles, go to our website and search over-the-counter insoles. You can also search for total contact orthotics to learn about the proper custom orthotic for your condition. If you have inflammation in the area, you can take over-the-counter or prescription anti-inflammatories or use ice packs. If you have significant inflammation in the area, your doctor may need to give you a steroid injection to reduce the inflammation. You should only choose surgery after you have exhausted all conservative options and can no longer live with the condition. I'll be talking about surgical options in another video. You can visit our website, footankle.com, for further questions about this condition or any other foot and ankle condition. If you're interested in shoes that may help your foot condition, you can obtain our shoe list by going to our main page, scroll to the bottom, and entering your email address. Thanks for watching.